Hey what's up guys, Sinmay here back again and this time with a room review and it's the Resurrection Remix room for Galaxy Grand and it is developed by my friend Ruthvik Rajagopal also known as RVR so a big shout out to him and if you want to know more about him I'll drop the link to his website in the description below you can check it out so. So let's start the review. The ROM is based on EOS P and it is running Android 5.1. Let me show you in the settings here. As you can see it is Android 5.1 Lollipop. And the UI is pretty much vanilla EOS P as it is is on USB ROM but it comes with a big bunch of customization option which you can see in, in the configuration menu also you might have noticed the DPI on my phone is pretty low it is set to 180 and also I have enabled a nav bar and also in the, notif in the quick toggles I have enabled some of the important ones which I actually use such as screen off then the notification uh, toggle then also screenshot then this thing here it changes the screen colors according to uh, the conditions like day or night it is up to you you can set it to automatic or you can change it manually also here in the configuration menu there are tons and tons of options which you can check out yourself as I can't go through each and every one in this video so I'll drop a link to the XDA forum page so you can check out all the features there so let's talk about performance the performance of this ROM is blazing fast animations are smooth and there are no frame drops at all the video might be a bit choppy but that's just because I'm using the screen recording app Generally, I have heavy usage of social apps like WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, Hangouts and more and switching tasks is smooth and app load up quickly. Also, the amount of free RAM that I get is more than 350 to 400 MB which is excellent uh, for Galaxy Grand as you know the hardware is pretty old by now. It does just real co-processor and 1 GB of RAM and as you can see uh, even with screen recording on I am getting around 398 MB of free RAM. Uh, another thing to note is I'm using Greenify but trust me even without Greenify I get excellent performance and it is a very great ROM. Next thing is gaming. I don't really play heavy games but simple games like Voxel Rush, One More Line, Two Dots, Temple Run are the basic games that I play and they and they run without any hiccup. I usually face drop frames in Voxel Rush and one more line on Tuswiz ROM or any other Android 4.4 based ROM but on this ROM there is no such thing. It works excellent. Next thing is the battery life. The battery life of this ROM is excellent. Um, once again I am a heavy user so on my daily usage I get around 17 to 18 hours of battery backup with around 4 to 5 hours of screen on time which is great because my phone is 2 years old and I am using the same old battery and still it performs really great. So let me tell you some of the pros of this ROM. Firstly obviously a huge amount of customization options available out of the box. You don't really need Xbox, you don't really need any third party app to enable any customization option as everything is already available in the ROM. Second thing is very smooth performance, app loads up quickly. Excellent, like there is no complaint about performance in this room. Also the battery life is great so no complaint there as well. So now let's move on to the cons. There are few forced closures on particular apps after closing such as Instagram and Snapchat. I'm not sure if this is because the app are not updated for Android 5.1 or is this the problem of ROM because I never really faced that problem in TouchWiz as it is 4.2 but then again we leave that for next time maybe that's because the apps are not updated yet 
then another thing is charging is very uh, not very but just a little slow compared to android 4.4 and 4.2 because and that is a common issue with android 5.0 and 5.1 and that's not a big issue but it, sometime it can be pain so let's jump to the final verdict the rom is excellent and i will recommend anybody to use it as a daily driver and on the scale of 0 to 10 i will rate this rom as 8 out of 10 and with this let me wrap up the review and don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video and subscribe for more videos because i'll be back with another video soon thank you guys